Hi everyone and welcome to the first episode of TK Sports and to start off with we're looking at the three different types of energy systems we use during our performance and the ways in which to train them. The first system we use only lasts around 10 to 15 seconds and works under anaerobic conditions. This system is known as the ATP PC energy system. So all of the three energy systems are active at the same time, but one is always more dominant than the other. Your body consists of a naturally occurring substance called ATP, or adenosine triphosphate, which is stored in certain parts of the muscles, and when broken down, this substance releases energy at a rapid rate. So the reason for this is because the breakdown of ATP creates ADP, adenosine diphosphate, a single phosphate molecule and energy. This means that there are no fuel sources needed within the system, like carbohydrates, fats and proteins, to form the energy. However, one of the limiting factors in this system is that the storage of ATP in the muscle becomes empty within 8-10 to 10 seconds. As a result, the body has to come up with a new way of keeping the system going for as long as possible, which is where ATP resynthesis comes in. So ATP resynthesis is where another naturally occurring compound called phosphocreatine is also broken down by enzymes, resulting in a single creatine molecule, a phosphate molecule and energy. This energy released from the breakdown allows the adenosine diphosphate and phosphate molecule to combine, forming a new ATP molecule. This is the process of ATP resynthesis. And because this process happens so quickly, the energy can be used at a much higher rate. But the phosphocreatine creates a second limiting factor because once this compound runs out, the body can no longer resynthesize ATP. So the system becomes dormant when the body runs out of both adenosine diphosphate and phosphocreatine. It takes around one minute for the whole system to recover so that the amount of ATP and phosphocreatine can rise to normal levels again. This system produces one ATP, making it the lowest system in energy output. Whichever routine you do, it has to be done between 10 to 15 seconds, with approximately 1 minute recovery time, giving you a work rest ratio of 1 to 6, meaning that for every second of work, you get 6 seconds of rest. This type of training will be effective because you're producing fast, explosive movements for a low duration of time, which is when this system becomes most dominant within the body. By doing any routine which is longer than 15 seconds, you risk using a different energy system entirely, the anaerobic glycolysis, also known as the lactic acid energy system. So the timing of each routine is an essential part of improving the system. You have to focus on developing power as opposed to increasing muscular endurance, which is what would happen if your routines were too long. The reason why plyometric training helps to improve power is because you'll be developing something called fast twitch muscle fibers. More specifically, you'll be developing your type 2B fast twitch muscle fibers, which are adapted to produce fast explosive movement similar to the one used in this type of training. These muscles work under anaerobic conditions and produce a very high energy output, but for a limited duration of time. They have the quickest rate of contraction out of all the muscle fibers, making them perfectly suited for this energy system. However, they also fatigue the most quickly, so you can't use them for more than 10 to 15 seconds without having at least one minute recovery time. This muscle development doesn't affect the energy system directly, but over time it does help the body to adjust to working under greater pressures for a shorter duration of time. This is because the body is able to recognise that when these muscle fibres increase, so must the amount of naturally occurring ATP and phosphocreatine compounds in order to compensate for the increased power the muscles can develop. And it's this adaption that allows you to sprint faster or jump higher while using this energy system because your body can cope with more stress and generate quicker muscular contractions. During these exercises, you should be aiming to work above 90% of your maximum heart rate because you need to activate these muscle fibers 
in order to deplete the ATP and PC levels within the body in under 10 to 15 seconds. So in short, that's how you develop the ATP PC energy system. You have to increase the amount of the type 2B fast twitch muscle fibers in order to maximize your power production. And from there, the body can produce more naturally occurring ATP and PC compounds, giving you more energy for more power, allowing you to accelerate more quickly while running or jumping, making the system more effective. So thank you for watching this episode of TK Sports. If you like what you see and you want to see more, then subscribe and like. I'll put a link in the description below for more information about this energy system. But until then, I'll see you guys next time.